The price elasticity of demand, also known as the PED, is an economic measure of how responsive the quantity demanded for a product or service is to a change in price. More specifically, the PED measures the percentage change in quantity demanded for a 1% change in price. The formula for price elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. We also have the ARC price elasticity of demand. The ARC price elasticity of demand formula solves the problem of asymmetry and gives the same price elasticity of demand for an increase or a decrease in price. Here we have the ARC price elasticity of demand formula. The ARC PED formula solves the problem of asymmetry and gives the same PED for an increase or a decrease in price. You can see in the ARC price elasticity of demand formula, we first divided the changes in demand by the average of quantity demanded 1 and quantity demanded 2 to get the percentage change in quantity demanded. We did the same thing for the percentage change in price. The reason why we do this is because the percentage change is different when a value moves up than it is when a value moves down. For example, suppose the price of an item moved from $9 to $10. What would the percentage change in price be? The percentage change would be 11.11%. .11%. So this means the price increased by 11.11%. .11%. Now, what if the price moved down from $10 to $9? What would the percentage change in price be? It would be negative 10%. So the price changed negative 10%. Obviously, if we plug these numbers into the price elasticity of demand formula, we get a different PED for the same unit increase or decrease in price. To solve this problem, we can use the midpoint formula instead. The midpoint formula is the average of both prices. So what we do is we take the price 2 minus price 1 and then we divide it by price 2 plus price 1 divided by 2 which is the average of both prices. So by using the midpoint formula in the price elasticity of demand formula, you can see that the percentage change is the same whether the price moves up or it moves down. Except in the case of Veblen or Giffen goods, the price elasticity of demand will always be negative. This is consistent with the law of demand. If the price of something increases, then the quantity demanded will decrease. If the price of something decreases, then the quantity demanded will increase. Either the numerator or the denominator in the price elasticity of demand equation will be negative. They will never both be negative, nor will they ever both be positive. Therefore, the price elasticity of demand equation will always render a negative number. When the PED is less than 1 in absolute value, it's considered inelastic. This means that there's relatively little change in quantity demanded for the change in price. With inelastic goods, an increase in price would result in an increase in revenues. Examples of inelastic goods are utilities, cigarettes, gasoline. They're things that we need to use at certain rates, no matter the price. A PED that's greater than 1 in absolute value is considered elastic. This means that the quantity demanded is relatively sensitive to a change in price. For elastic goods, if price increases, then revenues will decrease. Examples of elastic goods are movie tickets, cheeseburgers, candy, lobster. A PED that's equal to 1 in absolute value is considered unit elastic. This means that for every percentage change in price, there will be an equal percentage change in quantity demanded. The goal is to set prices where the price elasticity of demand equals 1 in absolute value. 
The price where the PED equals 1 in absolute value is the price that should earn the most revenues. The PED of a product is not constant and becomes less accurate with larger changes in price. For example, if gas, which is inelastic, rose by 50 cents per gallon, there may not be a significant change in demand. However, if the price per gallon rose by $4, there would obviously be a significant change in demand and drivers would either not want to spend the money or they simply would not have the money to afford gas at such expensive prices. Drivers would start finding cheaper alternative modes of transportation. They'd start taking buses, carpooling, riding bikes. Again, the goal for a seller is to find the price where PED equals 1. This is where revenues are maximized.